Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on UFT automation. Uh, in this video, we will look at how we can apply regular expressions on dynamic screens to uh, you know, help uh, the test execution. Uh, to uh, start uh, with a good example, I will uh, do a basic recording where I will log in into the sample application uh, search for a specific record, then fax the record and close the application. So here let me, uh, for, to start the recording, let me make sure that I have the application. Okay, let me take the login screen. Okay, now we can start recording. Okay, I'll go ahead and log in. I'll do a file, open order. I will search for, say, order number two. Once it's displayed, I'll do a file, fax order. And I'll enter some number there and click send. Okay, you know what, let me, I already have certain objects within the object repository, that's why it is causing, you know, let, you know what, uh, I wanted all these to be default, you know, let me quickly go ahead and uh, stop the recording, delete all this, go to resources, object repository, Okay, now I have nothing in the object repository. Start the application to the quick recording. So I'll do the same thing. I'll log in, um, search for the order two. Then do file, fax order, all tools in there and click send. So as you can see the dialog box is fox, uh, sorry, fax order number two. It's done, e exit. So close the application. So let's go ahead and run this script a couple of times to, you know, kind of understand this uh, they understand the impact of the the dynamic uh, screen name on the script. So as it is, I'm not going to make uh, any change. I'll just run the script just to make sure that it runs. I mean, it should run. There's no doubt about it. But just to make sure. Or a two. So it is able to send the fax. Should close the application. As you know, it's waiting for it. Default wait time is 20 seconds. It's done. So we know that it works. I mean, you know, in, in real time testing, you know you record with something and then you actually execute with something else meaning you know this script will always always delete the order number two but what if we want to you know delete different or um, we are not deleting but we are 
fax in the order what if we want to fax another order different order you know let's say if we do uh, tools data driver and you can manually make a change here but I'll just do this parameterize step by step and we will do we'll parameterize uh, constant is 2 order number set edit put it in the global sheet finish so order number is 2 so here it is setting the order number so if we change uh, let, let's go ahead and run the script real quick that one change so now the order number is coming from the uh, from the uh, global sheet so it was able to pick the order number from the global data table Sending facts and close the application. So let's see what happens. We, instead of uh, two, let's say we want to delete three. I mean to say we want to fax the order number three. Let's go ahead and run it. So it logged in successfully and searching for order three, it pulled order three. And now, you know, it pretty much is at number uh, 15. It's not able to find that screen because if you look at number 15, it's looking at the dialog box uh, with the name Fox, uh, sorry, a uh, fax order number two. But what you see on the screen is uh, fax order number three so that name the the dialogue name for this screen is it is dynamic so if you search for order 10 then you would see number 10 here if you look for look up for order 20 you'd see order 20 there let's say you know if, uh, open order say 11 and do fax order and you see 11 there that means you know the name of the screen or the dialog box is dynamic in nature so whenever you encounter things like this then this is where you bring in your regular expression skill so what we'll do is number one first we need to fix this uh, this is just the name it, this really has no impact what we need to do is we need to educate the object repository to identify that screen so as I said, you know, the name here is not a big deal. These names can be custom as you might have already uh, seen that in the, you know, in the prior videos. I mean, this could be uh, more like, you know, facts, order, facts, order, dialogue. If I do that, and that would change here but even changing the name does not really change the way qtp looks at an object or tries to find an object based on its properties right you know the properties hasn't changed it's just the name the name is just internal so the thing that we need to really uh, uh tweak is the name sorry the the text here because these are the properties using which you know the qtp is trying to identify the object right here it says the text should be fax order number two so no matter what you do or what you search for doesn't matter you know if it is one three four any number it'll always look for a dialog box with the title fax order number two but the thing is you know if you search for three it would be three if you search for ten then it's ten so let's go ahead and fix it using our regular expression so so all I did was I went into the uh, value for the text property and clicked on this button on the right hand side to configure the value and here I'm going to say 
I'm going to check this regular expression checkbox and um, there are a couple of ways you can do because there is a, a dot in there it prompted to put uh, an escape character which is a uh, you know a backward slash and then uh, you know now we can edit this one it has two there you can remove that and you know the thing is that you know with the title of the dialog box fax order number is always same and also the dot it's always same it's only the number that changes after that so what we could do is I mean we could you know uh, you know use that backslash and a dot and then you put a dot and asterisk then that would you know it, it will match anything and nothing and everything practically I mean, it, it could just be fax order number dot it will match it if it is fax order number dot and anything or nothing it would match it or to you know if this is a little confusing what you could do is you know it always starts with fax order number and if you think that you know it doesn't matter what is after that then all you need to do is put a dot and a asterisk uh, symbol there and that would match any any uh, name that starts with fax order number and anything after that it could be any number any string even alphabet I mean it doesn't matter it will match it so this should help us to match with three as well let me go ahead and close it now that I change the way it recognizes the you know screen you know it should work this time because it's no longer looking for number two within the uh, screen name or the you know the dialog box title Oh, got a little messed up. Let me let me run the script. So it was able to recognize the you know fax order number three uh, dialog box. We'll go ahead and change it to say ten, and you know run the script real quick. So this will change it to ten this time, and run it. So logging in, looking up for the order 10, came from the data table. And by the way, there, you know, for a signature, you could use analog and, you know, put a signature in there. Well, that worked. So this is how you, you know, apply your regular expression knowledge uh, to, you know, within the object repository to, you know, identify, you know, dialog box with uh, dynamic uh, titles. Well, I hope that helped and, you know, I will talk to you in the next video.